Hello and good evening. This is Luis Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to do an overview of Power BI admin features. That means what can you actually do and don't do in PowerBI.com in the service as an administrator. So what access can you give and what access is not allowed you to configure, at least not yet. So let's begin. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and if you want to access the admin um, settings, you go in here and admin portal. If you're a normal user, you won't have access to the admin portal. So you have to ask an IT person to help you configure that. And you have a few things you can do in here. Let's remove that. You can uh, see the uses metrics and this gives you a report of course it's power bi about uh, what's going on in your power bi um, portal you can see the total number of dashboards the reports the number of user data sets and so on and so forth you, can, you have tons of information in here mm. you have the possibility to manage users this is actually done in the Office 365 Admin Center. So we, what this is actually doing is giving you a quick link there, but you cannot configure anything in here. You have also the audit logs, and this is exactly the same thing. You have to do it in Office 365, but you can access it very quickly through this button. And here is, I think, the most interesting as, a, as an admin and is what you can actually allow and don't allow your users to do. So we are going to go through them one by one so you understand uh, what your options are as an admin or as a Power BI or organization that is thinking about using Power BI because I, got, I get these questions all the time. Are we allowed to do this? Are we allowed to do that in Power BI service? And they're very relevant questions because uh, you know, organizations are always concerned about uh, security and data security. So um, let's go through them one by one so you know what you are allowed to do and not. So the first one we have here is share content to external users. And you have the possibility to enable or disable it. You can enable it for the entire organization. You can also disable for everybody. Uh, you can enable to the entire organization except for a certain group, or you can enable it just for groups, for a few groups, people that your groups that you actually trust, like management or some IT users that they would like to test the function before they release it. So these are the options that you have on all of the uh, options for tenant settings. So share content to external users, what this allows you to do if it's enabled is for people in the organization to share a report with an external user. Okay, so this is an important thing to take into consideration if you want to allow your users to do this or not. Then we have publish to web and publish to web is a feature that was, let's do that, uh, is in here, publish to web and we're going to talk about also export to SharePoint and download report, okay, and print. So these things you can manage on the um, tenant settings. Let's go back and see. We go in there and we see, let's move that away. We have published to web. So this is, it creates a link that it allows to embed the report in the web. And um, here you will enable or disable it. And this applies to the entire organization. You, you cannot fine tune this. So either you allow it to do it or you don't. 
export data. And this is on tiles. You have actually the possibility on the three dots to right click and say export data to a CSV file. What you can do here is to actually disallow that again for the entire organization or just specific groups. The same goes for export reports as PowerPoint presentations, as well as print dashboards and reports. So you, here you can decide who actually is able to do that. So here is about content packs, and this is the ability for users to publish a content pack to the organization. That means they have created reports and they want to share it with everybody. Or the possibility to create content packs on data sets that were built in Power BI Desktop. You have integration settings also. And this is about uh, having Cortana access your data. And here is just on off. It applies for the entire organization that it says here. The possibility to use analyze in Excel for on-premise data sets and the use of maps, the visualization provided by ESRI. So you can turn it on or off as you prefer. This is about um, our visuals that are created in Power BI Desktop and is if the user has actually the option to share and interact with R. Uh, this is applied for the entire organization, so either it's on or is off. Or the setting is uh, the ability to create logs uh, for auditing and compliance. And here they're actually telling you that the data will be collected and sent to systems in the United States, so you have uh, regulations about data live in your country, you cannot uh, enable that. And this is the main reason why it is disabled by default, because they don't want to send data across countries without actually your permission. So you will have to enable it, active enable it. As you can see, most of the other stuff are enabled on default. And last but not least is the ability to tag the dashboards that are, are available in Power BI. And uh, this is again for the entire organization. Now, if you come here and you do any change, you have to allow for, I don't know, 10 minutes or 15 minutes for the settings to apply. So go grab a cup of coffee and come back and test after a while. It won't work right away. So this is actually what you can actually control for now in Power BI. I'm sure it will change with time, but I, I thought it would be good to have an update of what's going on right now as I'm getting questions uh, about this. Okay. So this is all for today. If you like the video, let me know by liking it or sharing it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.